Hello, welcome back to my channel Awesome Learning with the new lesson we are going to start today with locomotion and movement. Okay children, so let's begin with the chapter um, as the two words in the name of the chapter. The first word is locomotion and the other one is movement. So what is the actual difference between the two words? Children, movement is any kind of motion which can be done at a particular place also. Uh, sitting at a place and if you are moving, you are nodding your head, you are moving your hands, that is movement. But what is locomotion? When you change your place, when you change the location, that is called locomotion. So children, locomotion is only shown by animals, whereas movement is shown by all the organisms like animals and even plants. Uh, the opening of the bud is also a kind of movement. The closing up of leaves of chui mui plant that you have seen, touch me not plant, that is also considered as a movement. Or bending of sunflower towards the sunlight is also a kind of movement. So this was the basic difference between locomotion and movement. Let's see what is locomotion. Locomotion is voluntary movements. Now, what do you mean by voluntary? Which works on our own will. Voluntary means it works on our own will. Hamari marzi se. Hamari marzi par jo movements ho. They are called voluntary movements resulting in a change in location. Okay. All locomotions are movements. But all movements are not locomotion. As I just told you, sitting at a place and nodding your head is not locomotion. It is only movement. So all locations, locomotions are movements, but all movements are not locomotions. Children, what is locomotion? Listen here and see here. Locomotion and movement are interlinked. For example, in paramecium, now this is a paramecium, you can see. Okay, the cilia, these are the cilia, the brush border you can see. These are the cilias help in the movement of food through cytopharynx and in locomotion. Okay, so the cilia, the cilia all around the body of paramecium, it has two functions. Function number one, it helps to move the food particles. Okay, it helps in the movement of food particles from cytopharynx. This is, you see, cytopharynx. Can you see? This is cytopharynx. Okay, food through the movement of uh, food through cytopharynx. So this is a kind of movement. And this was the first function that is done by cilia. The second function that cilia does is help in the movement of paramecium. So if this paramecium wants to move, it will take the help of cilia to move from one place to another. So this is what you can see the cilia are also present inside that is why the food movement the movement of food is possible because the cilia are present here also in the cytopharynx and because the cilia are present all around the body this will help the, in the locomotion. Okay. Second example, children, they have taken hydra. These are the, uh, this is the figure of hydra and these are the tentacles of hydra you see. Okay, to capture prey and for locomotion. So these tentacles are helpful in both the work. They do two, two jobs. First is to capture the prey, they will use the tentacles and they will also use these tentacles for locomotion. Then children, example is the human body or animals you can say the larger higher animals they have limbs 
just as we humans have limbs the upper limb and the lower limbs we call upper limb as four limbs and the lower limbs they gave uh, help uh, they help us in locomotion they also helped us to change the body postures suppose we are sitting we want to lie down so this is the changing of the body posture so these are the various types or examples of locomotion okay children let me also take your ncert because this is very important we have to talk everything that is discussed in ncert so this whole paragraph is actually saying the same things that we have done in the ppt just give a reading you will able you will be able to understand the things now we are going to do the types of movement as here with the ppt now you see children types of movement in human now how many types of movement are there in human body the first is amoeboid movement now why do we call it as amoeboid movement because this movement was observed in amoeba so we call it as amoeboid movement but here we are not talking about amoeba here we are talking about the kind of movement that is seen in amoeba is also seen in humans so that kind of movement which was seen in amoeba and also seen in human beings is the amoeboid movement by pseudopodia as you know that amoeba moves with the help of pseudopodia now what are pseudopodia pseudopodia are the false feet now why do we call that false feet pseudopodia children are the extension please listen to my words carefully pseudopodia are the extensions of cell membrane or plasma membrane and how are they getting extended into a particular direction because or why are they getting uh, extended into a particular direction because the protoplasm the whole protoplasm is streaming is flowing in that particular direction jab cell ka sara ka sara protoplasm you know what is protoplasm everything inside the cell the cytoplasm the nucleus the organelles everything combined and we call it as protoplasm to jab cell ke andar ka sara ka sara protoplasm ek hi taraf ek hi direction mein flow karne lag jaye stream karne lag jaye to kya hoga us direction mein cell membrane jo hai wo bahar ki taraf extend ho jayega aur pseudopodia form हो जाएगा सो अमियाबॉइड मूवमेंट बाय सूडोपोडिया फॉर्म्ड बाय स्ट्रीमिंग ऑफ साइट प्रोटोप्लाजम देन साइटोस्केलेटल एलिमेंट्स now cytoskeletal elements you have done in the uh, chapters when you were doing that cilia part the structure of cilia and flagella so cytoskeletal what are cytoskeletal element, uh, elements children the elements which are present in the cytoplasm and these elements behave as a skeleton because what is the function of skeleton the skeleton gives structure to the uh, um, you can say the organism similarly these cytoskeleton are the elements which act like skeleton which behave like skeleton and which gives a particular shape to the cell these elements like microfilaments also help in the extension of pseudopodia or they also help in the amoeboid movement okay understood now which are the cells or which cells show this kind of movement examples are macrophages and leukocytes now both of them are the examples of wbc 
so the first kind of movement that is seen in the human body is amoeboid movement and i hope you have understood it i hope this is clear that this movement is seen by throwing out of pseudopodia and why is the pseudopodia thrown out because the whole protoplasm gets streamed out in a particular direction even the microfilaments which are the cytoskeletal elements help in this kind of movement and the examples are macrophages and leukocytes next children second type of movement is ciliary movement now you should understand what is ciliary movement just the type of movement shown by the cilia in the paramecium the same kind of movement here by cilia example of ciliary movement now we are not talking about the cilia of paramecium please understand this hum yahan par discuss kar rahe hain cilia uh, ke bare mein jo human body mein hai to ciliary movement which is seen inside the human body we are not talking about the cilia of paramecium we are talking about the cilia of human body but kyunki ye bilkul paramecium jaise cilia ki tarah behave karta hai so the movement is called ciliary movement examples are cilia in the trachea why are the cilia present in the trachea because you know trachea is the windpipe and this is the portion from where the air get, enters into the lungs so if the air contain any foreign material or substances those can be removed by the help of cilia and the cilia is also seen in the oviducts where the ova has to pass so cilia will help in the passage of the ova or in the movement of the ova inside the oviduct also called as fallopian tube so this was about ciliary movement next type of movement children is muscular movements now muscular movement as the name suggests the movements by muscles okay and in uh, class 9th you have uh, read about three types of muscles straighted unstraighted and cardiac so the movements which are assisted the movements which are assisted by muscles are called muscular movements that is movements of the limbs movement of the tongue movement of the jaw etc so these are the types of movements now let me show you here types of movements in human first is the amoeboid movement because i have already discussed lot of thing about it so let me show you the picture now by pseudopodia form by streaming now you can see all the protoplasm of the cell is getting streamed in the one direction now because the whole protoplasm is flowing in one particular direction so you see the cell membrane extends and this is what is called pseudopodia so now what will happen everything when is coming towards uh, in this direction when the whole protoplasm comes here so little bit of the cell will now shift from this position to this position because the cell has now moved till here to piche se bhi to aage ki taraf thoda khiskega na cell kyunki kafi kuch cell ka jo material hai wo ek hi direction mein flow ho gaya understood so this is the Uh, outer this is the outer cytoplasm and you can see they have shown you the network of filaments these are the microfilaments okay and the inner cytoplasm is in a solution uh, type of uh, it has it is a solution type of cytoplasm and the outer one is having microfilaments or the skeletal filaments i told you and this is how the sodia pseudopodia is getting extended in one particular direction so these are the microfilaments which are shown in the diagram and this is how it appears when seen under a microscope white blood cell you see generally shows uh, uh, pseudopodia they show pseudopodia these are the red blood cells they are always round by conke padha hai aapne okay okay and see this is the bacteria they are showing here so i hope this is clear then let me show you the ciliary movement by cilia as i told you in trachea or oviducts so you <coughs> sorry excuse me this is 
inner lining of trachea you can see the cilia are present above okay and inside the fallopian tube this is the ovum and these are the cilia which help the ovum to move from uh, inside the fallopian tube because ovum has to move it is the ovum which has to move uh, from uh, the fallopian tube inside the fallopian tube from the ampulla then in fundibulum then is thumbs these are the parts which you will be doing in class 12 then the third type of movement is muscular movement or by muscles example movement of limbs tongues you see all these are muscular movements this is not that difficult i think okay and this is the movement uh, another type of movement is flagellar movement which is shown by the sperm sperm also has a tail you see and even the euglena this is very light you can see if you can make out ये एक टेल है युगलेना की दिस इज ऑल्सो अ टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर विच हेल्प इन द मूवमेंट द फ्लैजल मूवमेंट हेल्प इन स्विमिंग ऑफ स्पर्माटोजोआ वट इज स्पर्माटोजोआ द स्पर्म इज ऑल्सो नोन एज स्पर्माटोजोआ मेंटेनेंस ऑफ वॉटर करेंट इन द कैनाल सिस्टम ऑफ स्पॉन्जेस एंड लोकोमोशन ऑफ प्रोटोजोन लाइक युगलेना सो फ्लैजला ऑल्सो हेल्प इन द काइंड ऑफ मूवमेंट दिस इज कॉल्ड फ्लैजलार मूवमेंट okay so this was all about movement in various various types of movement which can take place in human body these are the various types of movements which take place in human body